Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, how's Lüning? This is my son Ben and today we're black. No, no black. I'm you're black. I'm black. <laughs> and our whiskey is black. Whiskey it's, is black. <laughs> yeah, several A's in it, three of them I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, this should be an analogon to a sheep herd, a white sheep herd with a black sheep in it. And that black sheep is Artbeck among all those whiskies around the world. The black sheep among the, all the whiskies. Yeah. And if you look on the left side, that side to your face, turn it a bit. There's something wrong. <laughs> That's <laughs> the, the dog. That's the, how it's called? Uh, shorty. Shorty. Shorty, it's called. Shorty. Uh, written in, in But Spanish. I don't think Shorty is a shepherd dog. <laughs> it's just... It was a Kurt Russell Terrier sometime. Is it, is, is a Kurt Russell Terrier a shepherd yeah. dog? No. No? It's okay. a hunting dog. Yeah. It's a hunting dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Artback established 1815, so quite an old distillery. And, and it's the 20th anniversary. And this is the 20th anniversary, not for Artback, which <laughs> they had uh, their 200th already. Uh, no, for the committee. On, on Isla, there's, for everything, there's a committee. <laughs> and uh, people talk and talk and drink and talk and drink. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the Artback committee. And this Artback Black is the ultimate Isla single Moscow whiskey. I think they write it on every label. Uh, the specialty <laughs> of this one is it's a black bottle. Yeah, if it looks a bit green, that's because... Yeah, the sheep in the background are not real. We're not really on a <laughs> within the sheep herd, but um, it's a green screen, so you see a little bit of green through the Shining bottle, through, probably. Yes. But it's it's pitch black. Yeah, and uh, here it's said uh, that the whiskey creators have been weaving together some incredible flavors, rounding up the finest Pinot Noir wine cast from New Zealand. Pinot Noir. Noir, Pinot is, is Noir, black. Noir is black. <laughs> and it's a, a wine, a red wine, which is typically grown in not that hot environments. Mm -hmm. And it's called the, the Kings of the Grapes, uh, probably. And uh, the sheep herd in the back, I, I hope I find the picture. Uh, that's from New Zealand itself, where I uh, took it with a drone. And uh, the Pinot Noir, I think they should come, the cast should come from the uh, mother company of Art Bag, which is Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy. And they have a wine uh, chateau over there. It's called Cloudy Bay. And the Pinot Noir, just luckily I have it at home in the moment, uh, tasting it. It's an expensive bottle. So wine from New Zealand is expensive and uh, it's a good one, very mm -hmm. fruity one. So I'm quite eager to learn how this whiskey uh, makes up with the uh, Pinot Noir wine casks. Mm -hmm. Very Artbeck, interesting. Artbeck, on the other hand, is very smoky. Mm -hmm. So you've been there. Yeah, I've, I've been there a number of times now already. Uh, I think you've been there three times, I've been there... <laughs> <laughs> I think also three times. I, I once flew with a helicopter just into the <laughs> distillery. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's it's a really nice distillery. And I especially like the the yearly anniversary editions. Mm -hmm. They are they are really cool because they always have something different. Yeah. They always think of something something new. This time Pion, Pinot Noir. My maybe. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, it does not carry an eight state. Does it say if it's a finish or is it a uh, uh, true? <laughs> it doesn't say finish, so. Uh, the, it had to be because every art pick is, is maturing in those ex bourbon casks and refill ex bourbon casks. So that was very tight, it has an overpressure. We just had a, a, a small storm coming through, pressure is low, so this high pressure put out the cork and it's really wonderfully smoky, not stinky, it's aromatic, wonderful smoke. Mm -hmm. It's 46% ABV, so it's not one of the very 
extends art bags. Art bag is not coloring its whiskies. So the color here, quite dark golden color, comes from those wine casks. Ooh, quite smoky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little aromatic oakiness. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> so today we only have one close up camera. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's <laughs> with me. Oh, we do have a second, but then the green screen doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's aromatic, smoky, then uh, like cedar wood showing through from behind. Mm. And a little fruitiness with orange and dark marmalade. Does that exist? Dark marmalade? No idea. <laughs> so. It's an intense, massive, smoky, but fruity, yeah, whiskey. Mm -hmm. So I find it quite aggressive with a lot of, a lot of oomph to it. Like the, the wood you, you found, the, what was it, cedar wood, oak wood, and uh, a little bit of sweetness as well, but quite... Yeah, dark flavors, quite uh, spicy flavors as well. And we only have the 46% version. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure if there's a higher version out there. But we have the 46% version. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's Cheers. intense. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This orange note is cutting through everything, just full and then oak behind, so hefty oak flavors in it, probably from those Pinot Noir casks, mm -hmm. and mouth watering, covering my mouth, the smoke is covering my mouth, and in the aftertaste, oh, spiciness, yeah, more, mm -hmm. mm. massive, massive. Yeah, it's a, it's an intense one. A lot of oak, a lot of spiciness. Mm. Different spices. There's a lot of spices in there. Mm. Definitely some pepper. Um, piment. I'm not quite sure of these. These they're not quite cloves, but but they're going in the direction. So there are I, tons of of these. I find uh, any seed. And some mm -hmm. sooth. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. So it's a, it's one where you have to, have to be be able to to feel everything to, to enjoy the strength of the whiskey, because it's it's a really intense one. That's one that just, mm -hmm. just there and in the moment and in the nose. I forgot to say, yeah, there's a lot of smoke in there as well. And it really goes well with the Pinot Noir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with the second sip, the spiciness of the oak is just everywhere, mm -hmm. much more than I'm used by uh, uh, from other art bags. I would have expected much more fruitiness with the wine cask, but it's it's a lot of spiciness in there, a lot of... Probably the casks. Pro mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of cask in there, not mm -hmm. a lot of... <laughs> Pinot Noir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's good. A little cooling, like there's any seed, probably sherries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually these committee bottlings are pretty good. Yeah. You don't make any mistake by buying it, except they are pretty pricey. Do you have an idea how high the price um, is? Higher than last time. Uh huh. Substantially higher. Okay. We're not quite sure yet. <laughs> what I'm happy for is Artbag uh, built a second still house. Mm -hmm. So the amount of Artbag being produced and put to rest to mature uh, should be growing by now. Mm -hmm. So that in a few years we might see uh, more older Artbags on the market, hopefully. 
Yeah, I mm. like it. Mm -hmm. Big recommendation. Yeah, recommendation. And definitely for all the Artback fans, you will not mm. be disappointed. No. You def definitely feel that it is an Artback. It's not one of these sweet art bags. It's very lightly sweet, but mm -hmm. it's definitely one of the 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 flavors that the feel from the the smoke just feels art bag. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to give us a thumbs up and see you next time.